I've been sketching around the trees where I played when I was a child. I never left this place dry and I was always happy. These natural structures were giants to me. I climbed them when they were saplings. Sometimes a small branch would snap under my weight. It was quite a jolt to the system as gravity took over the climbing lesson. The smell of marsh gas, pine resin in the sun, and the feel of the dry clay contours underfoot became more familiar with each run over them. Days of long light and wet days of drizzle the soggy slip of the foot into warm mud quenched by cooler water becoming wetter as it soaked through until it felt like one with the skin. Sketching what I see isn't always what I do. Sometimes I don't really see anything, no matter how hard I look. So I put down the framework for the changes to take place and wait until they become significant in the sketch and within the time of the sketch. The reality of change is timeless within a permanent reality as could be the sketch but I would have to stand there for an eternity altering the changes. So the work for practical reasons has to be a slice of time using timeless materials and techniques The other relevant aspect of time is that I'm sketching what I knew decades ago, and this experience is part of the permanent reality. It doesn't alter what I see, but it helps me to see it through time. This way I hold on to the significant me, the me that is working, I feel, I sense, and describe to myself decades of seeing or slices of timelessness. Some philosophers have put forward that true reality is timeless, based on permanent substances, while processes are denied or subordinated to timeless substances. If I change, for instance, to say developing an illness, I'm still the same, the significance of me remains the same, and change, the illness, only glances over my substance. Change is random, whereas the significance is essential. This can be applied to the changes and the conditions while working on location. The randomness of every invasion to the process, whether it is the movement of light and shade, the shapes against the changing tones, or the perception of colour within the reality of the sketch, the sketch remains significant. It is what it is, and the more these changes are welcomed, the more significant the sketch. I find I need to let go in order to work quickly and becoming looser and faster helps to capture the moment within that change. It's too easy to complicate what is very simple. A sketch in places where I have memories of the place. If I do this too much I'll never visit anywhere else to gather other significant memories. For now though I'm content to have at least found a glimpse of what I do by doing it and recording it. In a way I'm learning how to live without doing it. <laughs> <laughs>